Okay, next we can see the lateral view of the human vertebra column. We can see here this uh, cervical part. We have a seven vertebrae of cervical spine. We can see from the superior part until here. And then we can continue with the thoracic spine. We have a 12 vertebrae of thoracic spine. And also we have five vertebrae of lumbar. We have one coccyx and sacrum. One sacrum and two coccyx. Okay. Next, this is the characteristic of the vertebra column. You can see the uh, cervical spine. The cervical spine is much more mobile than the thoracic or lumbar region of the spine because uh, it has a term with foramina in each vertebra for the vertebra arteries, which will uh, supply the blood to the brain. Okay, this is uh, the the diagram of the atlas and axis vertebrae. Okay, next we can see here the characteristic of the vertebra column. We can see uh, thoracic spine. Thoracic spine has a medium size heart shape and also it has uh, vertebra bodies and it has a medium size of vertebra channel. It has a prominent transverse process with the skull facet. And it is also has a long spinous angulating downward. Okay, this is a diagram of the vertebra of the thoracic. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Akila Shafia Binti Razali. Uh, I'm going to continue what my friend has been presenting. Uh, so. The largest individual vertebra are five lumbar of vertebra. Uh, so firstly, characteristic of vertebra column, lumbar spine. Uh, lumbar vertebra has very large vertebra bodies which are kidney shaped. Um, since they are the largest, they are also the strongest in the vertebra column because the load of the body increase towards the inferior end of the column. It don't have transverse foramina, costal facets, or bifid spinous processes. It has triangular shaped vertebral foramen. Um, as I stated before, the cartilages D's between inferior lumbar vertebra are common sites for injury since they are the largest. Uh, so this is the diagram of lumbar vertebra. Okay, and next. Uh, so the net is sacrum spine. Uh, sacrum is inferior to the lumbar vertebra. So the characteristic of the uh, sacrum spine is the sacrum is formed by fusion of five sacral vertebra into a single bone in the adult. Uh, also, uh, the second characteristic is it has an inverted triangular and concave shape. Uh, the sacrum is shovel shape with apex pointed inferiorly and anteriorly. This curve uh, determine how the central uh, the central layer must be angled differently from the like epi for radiographic projection of the sacrum of all coccyx. Mm. And the third characteristic is the bone consists of base, apex and four surface. Posterior to the body of first sacral segment is opening to the sacral canal, which is the continuation of the vertebral uh, canal and contains certain sacral nerve. While the medium sacral crease is formed by fused spinous processes of the sacral vertebra. And then for the next one is coccyx spines. Uh, coccyx spine is the most distal portions of vertebra column in the coccyx. Distally, the coccyx maintain a concave shaped curve and anteriorly angle it to the pelvis. Um, each coccyx vertebra does contain a transverse processes, process and when fused form what is known as the anterior and posterior transverse growth of the coccyx. Uh, the most superior segment is the largest and broadest of four sections and it has two lateral projections that are small transverse processes. Uh, 
the distal pointed tip of the coccyx is termed the apex where the border superior portion is termed the base. Uh, this is the diagram of sacrum.